Yesterday I watched uh, one of our early videos when we first arrived to the property and I uh, saw and remembered and felt that enthusiasm for first stepping onto the property and the excitement of the adventure that we are headed off into. And uh, I remember those early days were filled a lot with just walking around the property and exploring and just being in awe of what has been created here over the last 700 years and filled with a desire to want to take it to the next level and uh, preserve that history. And I think in the last couple of months, I've been uh, just sucked into the, uh, the raw work that is required to uh, rebuild this property. And I wanted to just take a couple of minutes this morning while my coffee was brewing to walk around, explore some of the lower, lower terraces that I have not seen in a long time, to be honest, because we've been working so much. And already in the first couple of minutes, I've kind of been filled back up with that same energy and excitement uh, to move forward, which is good because we do have a lot of work to do today. Well, the, uh, the family just walked over and they're gonna see the spot that we excavated for the first time. It's quite a bit different. What did you do to that roof? We took the roof off because it was in the way. <laughs> this took one entire day to bring up all of this sand. Alexa, come see some of these big stones. cement we have to make to put in the house. This isn't even all of it. It's crazy. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely, I'm guessing probably 50% more. Well, the excavator couldn't fit into yeah. this room, so we have to dig this out by hand, which yeah. we were almost there before. Because the door was too small, we couldn't fit the excavator in. But we just have a little bit more to go and then we're done. 
And then we'll start pouring more concrete. Oh, looks great. Who wants to drive and who wants to ride? What? <laughs> Chloe, it's your turn, okay? Do you want to help me drive up the hill? <laughs> Time to get back to work. Okay. Daddy, how are we going to get I off? get it! Daddy, I'll get off. Okay. Careful, 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 okay? <laughs> All right. That was fun, Daddy. That was a lot easier than expected. So now that we've finished digging down, we have a lot of openings to make. We have to uh, dig an air hole underneath this, but it's solid stone, so that's gonna take a very long time. We also need to dig a hole under here through the other room, but unfortunately on the other side there's cement. Uh, we need to make an opening to the fireplace that will run a tube outside for additional uh, air intake. And then we, at a bare minimum, have to open up this to the mountain both for air, red is air, blue is um, a water pipe. This is the sewer pipe that needs to come through here. And then an air intake there. But ideally, I would really love to get one more uh, air pipe, maybe around here, that goes back against the house. When we're working so quickly, it's far too easy to forget things, which is why I've kind of color coded everything to where we uh, don't forget openings. So getting to this point, it's very easy to say, hey, we dug deep enough, that's enough, and stop. But if we don't take the extra couple of days to properly open up enough air ventilation, um, then this was all for nothing because just having the extra space um, beneath the floor is good, but if you don't have air drying it out now that we've created the space, well, then all you're doing is creating an environment for mold to grow. We're not actually required to put in that many um, openings, just a, literally a couple of small holes, um, which in my opinion is not enough. Um, so we're gonna double the amount that's required. And then I'm quite seriously planning on um, installing a fan system as well. The way that the Vespio system is designed is to um, create one opening on a lower part of the house 
and then have it run through, in our case, this direction behind the mountain, and then run up a pipe to a higher point. And then because hot air rises, it'll kind of sort of uh, create a vacuum effect of air slowly moving through, uh, but you're always gonna have um, wet spots in the corner where the air won't reach because air like water flows to the area of least uh, resistance. So we're gonna do our best to try to make sure that every corner in the room is uh, properly ventilated and dried out. And to me, that means adding in some kind of uh, mechanical forced air ventilation system at a later date.
Ne, sada nam korupcija.